Assalamu alaikum, Dr. Zaid bin Hilal. Today we will discuss MRI and CT uh, how to read the lower anatomy. This structure is very familiar to you already. And uh, you can see this is the fourth ventricle. So when it is the fourth ventricle, so we know just in front of the fourth ventricle, there is a structure named pons. So this is a pons. And behind the fourth ventricle, you can see the structure here and the structure here. So this is called a cerebellum. So this is the uh, left cerebellum and this is the right cerebellum and this middle area of the cerebellum is called vermis so this is the fourth ventricle in front of the fourth ventricle this is the pons and behind the fourth ventricle vermis and this is the left and this is the right cerebellum so if you get any uh, pathology in cerebellar structure so this is cerebellar dysfunction so coordination balance tone may be hampered so another uh, important things is uh, in front of the pons you can see there are a tiny uh, area there is a, a tiny hyperens area this is the structure of the venous system um, uh, arterial system so this is called basilar artery and uh, if you go in front then this is the frontal lobe and this both side is temporal lobe so at the level of the fourth ventricle where you can see the pons and you can see the cerebellum that level you can find only the frontal lobe and the temporal lobe now we can go a little above and we can see uh, this is the third ventricle and this is the cortigeminal cistern and this is the lateral ventricle area so if you make a demarcating line above and below the ventricle so we can get the different types of lobe so all already uh, you know this is a cortigeminal area so cortigeminal cistern this amygdaloid area and you know this hyperens area is called internal capsule so medial to the internal capsule above it is the head of the cortic nucleus and this is the thalamus and here a lentiform uh, structure is called lentiform nucleus so these are called the basal ganglion area or basal nuclei area so if you make a demarcation line so above the demarcation line you can see you can find the frontal lobe and behind the cortigeminal area you can find the occipital lobe this is not the cerebellum because cerebellum is below the occipital infratentorial so it is above the occipital uh, above the uh, cerebellum so you can see here is the occipital area but middle it is different uh, the, uh, here you can see the temporal lobe but above this area you can see the parietal lobe so how can you understand is the parietal lobe or it is the uh, temporal lobe you can see third ventricle then it's a little bit below so it is the temporal lobe it is, there is the lateral ventricle you can know it is above area so it is parietal lobe so it is much more higher area so if you divided the area like this way so you can find the area at, uh, frontal area it is called frontal lobe then all the three area is only the parietal lobe why not there is an occipital lobe because the occipital lobe is very small so it will only 
lies in the uh, third ventricle areas. So, uh, the, about the uh, lateral ventricle area, you can find only the uh, frontal lobe and all the three area is called the parietal lobe. And if you go more than that area, above that area, the vertex area, you can find only the parietal lobe. There is nothing else. No frontal lobe, no temporal lobe, no occipital lobe. So you can find only the temporal lobe. So later on, we will discuss about the uh, coronary radia, radiator and other things. So today we already discussed about the lower anatomy, how to read the lower anatomy. So I think uh, it will be useful for you. So if you like this uh, video, please share it with others uh, because knowledge for everyone and you will be the door to uh, you will be the person to open the door for the knowledge for the everyone and uh, thank you very much for being with us and uh, welcome for the next videos.